Punk Revolution now. Today we are going to be reviewing the Microphone's newest album, Microphones in 2020. This release has gotten so much excitement because the Microphones, if you're not aware, they're like a classic, super influential lo-fi indie folk band. Okay, their album, The Glow Part 2, is a freaking certif certified indie classic. You absolutely need to hear it if you haven't already. And this is the Microphone's first album in like nearly 20 years. So of course there's a lot of excitement around it. Although it's kind of not their first album in 20 years because the lead singer and songwriter of the Microphones, Phil Elvrum, has continued to consistently release music under the name Mount Erie. Okay, you might have heard of A Crow Looked At Me. That's Mount. E that's a Mount Eerie album. So, you know, it's like, I mean, it's it's still exciting though because it's the Microphones name and that certainly catches everyone's interest. Like, oh my goodness, they're deciding to release an album under the Microphones name. Wonder what that's all about. So it's certainly interesting. Let's go ahead and check this out and see what's going on. Let's start by taking a look at the album cover. This album cover actually gives me a lot of Mount Erie vibes. I feel like I've seen Mount Erie album covers that kind of look like this, where it's like a photo with maybe a little bit of editing going on to make it look real indie, hipster, whatever. Um, don't really have much to say about this album cover. It's kind of unremarkable. But you will see there, in the middle, there is a man standing there, who, which I believe is Phil. And that's going to inform the music, because this album is one 45-minute song all about Phil about Phil. Now let's talk about that. So musically, there's really not too much going on here. It's a 45 minute song that is at the, the foundation is like a loop of these acoustic guitars playing this pretty simple, very pretty relaxed chord progression. It's very chill, super, you know, super relaxing, which is, you know, totally pleasant. Um, and it kind of loops that for like seven minutes until Phil's vocals come in and not too much musically happens here. Maybe the, ch the chord will change a little bit here. Maybe there'll be a little bit of distortion that swells up in there. Maybe Phil will sing a little background harmony, but musically it's very bare, not much going on, which kind of fo forces you to really just focus on the vocals. The vocals are really the one thing that's kind of driving this song to keep it interesting. And Phil is doing his classic, you know, half singing, half talking thing. And the lyrics are just kind of, you know, like, you know how it goes, like, I am in my early 20s and I am wandering around, and life is chaos and I am just trying to make meaning of this nothingness, but there is nothing, and I am now walking through a parking lot and I'm just so confused because life is just nothingness and it's all meaningless. And then I started the microphones, um, and then I also am going to name drop Stereo Lab because my fans are gonna like that, and maybe I'll refer to my other lyrics a little bit, but overall I have nothing to say in the song besides talking about me for 45 minutes straight being early in my early 20s, wandering around, even though literally everyone in their early 20s has the same exact ex existential crisis I'm talking about, and there's nothing special about me at all, but for whatever reason, I'm going to make this whole song about me, and there's literally nothing that happens in this song besides the fact that I start your favorite band, and then I'm gonna name drop a band you like, and I'm just gonna keep going on and on, and I'm gonna have nothing to say, and then finally, I'm gonna finally end by saying, there is no end, which is the most cliche thing I've ever heard. Why the fuck does Phil think this is interesting? Why the fuck does anyone think this is interesting? He, there's literally nothing interesting that goes on here. It's just a bunch of fucking stream of consciousness word vomit where absolutely fucking nothing happens, and musically, there's nothing interesting happening either. It's just so fucking narcissistic to think that anyone wanna fucking listen to this, unless you're a huge micro fan, Microphones fans and you're obsessed with Phil Elver, from, then maybe you'll enjoy it but I think for the average listener you're going to be like come on this is a fucking drag how is this song only halfway over oh thank god it's finally over nothing fucking happened literally nothing happens musically and there's literally nothing that fucking happens there's nothing happens musically there's nothing that fucking happens lyrically there's fucking nothing happening here besides just Phil talking about himself in his early 20s doing nothing there's no plot okay okay he starts the microphones okay cool he fucking starts Mount Erie okay cool he's 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 he's, he's feeling nihilistic and depressed so are all of us who fucking cares? Why is this a 45 minute song? And the only reason you fucking put the, the word the microphones on this name is just so you can fucking get the fucking, get more fucking people to fucking listen to it. Because it's just, if this was released under Mount Erie, this would be like, oh, Phil released a 45 minute average song. But no, because it's gonna refer to your favorite fucking microphones lyrics, everyone's gonna get all excited. For, for, for an album that has the microphones name on it, and that's one 45 minute song, this album is remarkably, plays it safe, is so bland. And there's really nothing to say about it. I, can't, I cannot imagine anyone listening to this album more than two or three times because there's really not much content there. It's, um, 
Unless you're a massive microphones fan, this is boring as shit. I'm giving this a 4.4 out of 10. Please don't get mad at me if you're a microphones fan or if you like this album, but really, I can't, I, I, if you, there's no way anyone can listen to, I, it's, it, I promise you, if you like this album now, you're gonna get bored of it because there's nothing in there. There's nothing in there at all. Punk Revolution now, thanks for watching. Get out of here.